Hello, Snails here. I wanted to go through my animation process uh, for this tiny animation that I did. It's literally only like six seconds, but it took so much time. And I all love to any animator out there because just this alone took me a whole week. And that's only because I'm new and I'm using a program that's not necessarily for animation i use just procreate like just default procreate like the animation tool because i don't know how to use my toon squid app and i don't know about procreate dreams yet i don't know if i'm trying to get that or anything but let's get into the process of this video again i am new to this but I did follow a video that I found on TikTok. I kind of used it as a guideline on how I would go about the way uh, my character is moving because I didn't know what the heck I was supposed to do. So anytime the character moved in this video that I found on TikTok, I would stop it right there and then draw it like myself. Um, I felt that way was way easier to understand how like um, the framing worked each position and how a person moves in like real time would move except obviously this is just a cartoon animation so it's obviously a little different but i thought this was very very helpful for just um a first time tool i initially started with a rough skeleton and we pushed it into a more cleaner sketch i should say because i don't really do line work as much because my lines are too damn shaky to even call it line work but um, I just kept cleaning that up over and over again until I was satisfied with the product. And then um, I, w I didn't know if I wanted to go into it with flat coloring or if I should render. And I was like, why would I render if this is just a, like a little animation? But knowing me, <sighs> I, I literally didn't think I was going to render and I did. You'll see that later on. I kept it I kept it very simple though. This is not like major rendering or anything, but I know I in the Keja part of it, I definitely rendered her and I didn't think I was going to at all. But since she was more of a close-up and she was more like simple, like the frames weren't that much or anything, I was like, oh let me just try rendering it. And I really tried not to, but it's so hard. But I really did have fun with this animation and I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is not necessarily a tutorial, it's just my process, but I'll just kind of like uh, give you guys tips and tricks on how I went through this whole animation process.
Okay, we've made it to Keja's part, uh, the more complicated but very fun part of this whole animation. Um, I went in with it with the rendering style even though I was debating between either doing a flat color or just, yeah, the rendering style. And as you can see as we progress further, I went with the rendering style. I don't regret it or anything, I just know that it did make the process a lot longer than it should have been. But, um, I do like the results, of course. I just, I just, I find it funny because when we get to the part to where I'm doing the hand, I just think about all the comments on the video that I've made on my Instagram Reels. They're talking about, oh, the hand is blinding. I thought that was so funny. And it's so funny because I'm black. So, like, there's no excuses. <laughs> there's no excuses for me creating a black person's palm so light but but hear this in my comments people are going back and forth between like um saying oh the palm is too light the palm is blinding but then the other side is saying oh so black people have like lighter palms than normal like they'll have darker skin but their palms are really light and that, that kind of like gave me a sense of like ease what's did is done and it can be reversed because I'm not going back and changing it. I clearly see that the palm is very white and the comments actually make me like laugh. Okay, now that that's like squared away, we've come to an end. I'll let you guys watch the last little bit of this um, process. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment if you will. Goodbye.